But for those rare occasions when the giant otters don't clean their plates, there's another hungry mouth in the river, ready and willing to finish the job. Alone, it is just another fish, barely a blip on the radar of life. But when it gets together with a few of its friends, it becomes one big ravenous mass and nothing in the water is safe the piranha underwater terror of the amazon basin in south america there are over 30 species of this killer fish but it's the hungry red-bellied piranhas with the infamous reputations because when these vicious eaters dig in they do so with the sharpest teeth of any piranha species. During feeding frenzies, each fish uses their interlocking shredders to take one huge chunk out of their prey. And they don't even chew. Every meaty bite goes straight back to their bellies. When this fledgling wood stork loses its footing, it's the last stumble it will ever make. Like hundreds of tiny daggers, the piranha teeth tear the waterfowl to shreds in seconds. It's enough food to keep a school of 10 to 20 fish fed for a day. But like most fish, piranha need to eat daily. Bad news for this capybara. It is the world's largest rodent. One whose frenzied splashing attracts some very hungry piranha. Why did the capybara cross the river? It didn't. Dozens of piranha sweep in, creating an underwater blender. The river boils as each fish takes a bite then backs off to let the others in. It takes just 60 seconds for a school of these three pound fish to strip the massive capybara to the bone. While there are no verified human fatalities from piranha attacks, they have been known to bite fingers and toes clean off, bone and all. These aqua demons are so hungry, they're not even safe from themselves. When water levels are low and food scarce, they turn the food chain back on itself, resorting to the most disturbing diet of all, cannibalism. The ravenous red-bellied piranha prove that once again, a collective killer appetite far outweighs an individual's hunger.